Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Wumble's Hive. We have a little unbagging or unboxing as it's better known on YouTube. I have been in this bag already because there are some Christmas presents that I ordered at the same time um, which I've rescued but I've not touched any of the art supplies. They're all ready for you to open with me. So let's do that now. So this is my little bag, quite a chunky bag, fair few bits and bobs. Um, one thing with Teemu, um, if you're in the UK you have to spend a minimum of £25 to get free carriage and being, whoopsie daisies, being um, a tight Yorkshire lass we don't like to uh, spend money when we don't have to, so if it's just adding a couple more pieces, that's what we do. Hence, such a large bag. So. Ooh. Ooh. They're all trying to get away. Did we get everything? No. Now we did. Ooh, look at all the lovely things. Right, so I'm going to pop these on my knee. And we'll open them as we go. So this first thing, it says masking tape. But it's not really masking tape, is it? We all know what it is. It's washi tape. Um... So this uh, is a very pretty set of purple washi tapes. Um, in a random turn of events, it's called At the End of Spring. But the one that actually caught my eye is this one. Because it's got whales on it. So let's just uh, let's get into this and see what it's like. So it's fully packaged in, in plastic so they're all protected as they come. So let's have a little look inside. So as you can see there's two really thick ones up here and then we've got four medium size, two bit smaller to about half size of the normal ones and then some really thin ones. Now I use these for art um, for holding my paintings down and keeping them stretched and flat um, whilst I'm working. Um, it's quite difficult to see. Oh, we can see on that one. So I don't know if you can see there. The darker colour is the amount of tape. So it does look like we've got a similar thickness of tape. It doesn't actually describe it on Teemu. Um, but it does look like we've got about a similar thickness of tape to the cardboard. So if we assume it's the halfway point on all of these, that's not too bad. So this one's got little bikes on it. Um, mainly flowers, clouds, uh, little patterns. But like I said, this is the one that caught my eye. It's got, it's got little whales on it. I do like a little whale. So that, that's the one that made me buy this specific one. But like I said, for some reason it's called At the End of Spring. So it did, it did freak me out a little tiny bit. Because I don't think whales are anything to do with spring really. Um, but the, the bigger ones have got like a lot of uh, impressionistic flowers on that one. And like I say, the, the bike and flowers on this one. It's a nice set of tape. It feels fairly smooth. Um, can't really comment on how good it's going to be because I'll not know until I actually put it around a painting. Throw some watercolour at it. But I'm sure that'll happen at some point. So this set was is 10 rolls, uh, 10 rolls washi tape set. Uh, drop down box at the end of spring and the whole set cost £1.34 it's quite a nice bargain 
So that's item one. Uh, so the next one that we've got is this. I'm not sure which way up it is. Randomly the sticker's on this way, but then you'd have to open it like that and that would wind me right up. So we'll assume that that's not right and that it's supposed to be this way around. Um, so this one is a five inch by five inch watercolor sketchbook, 20 sheets, 300 GSM, 140 pound paper um, so that is the title of it if anybody's looking I will put all the titles um, in the description below just in case anybody's interested um, so the one that I chose here um, is called yellow white green flowers a lot of deep thought went into that one as you can see um, it's very nice feeling front cover. I think it's probably poly cotton. Um, lovely little image on the front there. I thought it was quite nice because I intend on using it for plein air. Um, and it were a nice, a nice colour to take out. So let's have a little look inside. Oh yeah. That's, that's a very nice bit of paper. So what does it say on the back there? Yeah, it just says paper. Um, so I don't think this is cotton or anything. I think it's probably just wood pulp. Um, there's a little slip, a little slip envelope at the back there for anybody who likes to keep bits and bobs in the sketchbook itself. Uh, you can see it's uh, very thick paper. Um, and it's bound really well. I don't know if you can see that. It does have uh, material binding. And it's got quite a good tooth. I'm not sure if my camera's picking that up, but it's got quite a, a good texture to it. It's not too uniform. So that'll be good when you're actually um, doing a painting plein air so I thought it would be nice to have the square size and then if you happen to be doing a, a lovely big seaside scene because I do intend on taking it to the seaside with me I thought it would be good if you wanted to do a big widescreen shot the other thing that attracted me to this is the little pen loop at the side um, let's, get, let's get a more sensible size pad um, so you can see there, that's a, that's a standard noodler's fountain pen um, and it fits in without hanging over the edges too badly. So if you were just carrying it about and you were just an ink sketcher, um, it, it, it'd be pretty good just to have that and not need anything further. So I thought that was really good. Um, doesn't seem that there's a page marker, which you, I usually get in my C white, but that's no biggie, you know what page you're on. Uh, so that's this one. It's the 5x5 five five inch watercolour sketchbook, 20 sheets, 300 GSM slash £140. And this cost £5.48, which I thought were a really good bargain as well, because I usually pay about £8 for the A6 size uh, of the Sea White. I do think you get a few more pages, but uh, it is just a basic black cover. You don't get the pen slide or anything. So we'll see how that goes. We'll give it a test at some point. Uh, now, the next thing that I've got is what can only be described as a ridiculously big brush. So I'll admit, when I bought it, I saw the size as it was listing and I was like, that can't be real. What would you want that much brush for? And then I thought, I, I do, I do want that much brush. That is what I want. So this is One Brush Large Adobe Large Brush is the title of it over on Teemu. Um, as you can see, I haven't got it out. So let's, uh, let's pull this out now. Apparently it's a hand grip pen is what it says on here. Now I believe it's for Sumi, or Sumai, I'm not sure how you say it, um, artwork, which is oriental. And yeah, I think we can safely say that's the biggest brush I own. 
I've said to many people recently that I don't do big paintings because I don't own a big brush. And I'll be honest, I thought my big brush that I've bought recently were quite big, but uh, this simply blows it out of the water. So we all know that uh, artists and, and manufacturers suggest that you dry the brush upside down and it does come with a little loop for you to be able to hang it whilst it's drying. Um, I'm not going to break the uh, conditioning that's holding this brush together but there you go if you want a crazy pen it's nicely weighted um, yeah it's a bit heavier on the front which is where you'd want the weight you wouldn't want it tipping back whilst you were trying to use it I will have to watch a few videos and find out exactly what this is for and how best to use it and then we'll see what I can create with it um, but that is that yes I'm insane um, but when you see something like this and it says it's this big you just simply have to buy one don't you guys and it comes with a lid I mean how cool is that so that cost um, £3.59 and pence, which again is literally nothing I'm very sorry, I have got a little bit of a stainage going on on my desk here. Um, I've been using uh, some gouache over the weekend and it seems to have severely stained my, uh, my table. So I apologise for the state of that. I will have to figure out how to get that green out. Notice it stains everything, the Windsor and Newton green. Um, so let's do this one next. I've uh, already said, as far as the little uh, book goes, I do do a bit of plein air, so I thought it would be nice to have a look at some of these um, water reservoir pens, and this was a full set of them. Um, so I thought it would be, you know, a good bargain. And obviously it's on Timu, so it's a, an even better bargain than you'd think. So it says, the title is, Seven Pieces Watercolour Brush Pens. And all of these pens cost a total of £2.24. So you've got flat brushes. Um, and I believe, oh they actually... No, they don't. No, they screw. Up. The the, the backward screw for anybody who's who's like me. Um, <laughs> so you just have to fill these reservoirs up, and then fingers crossed, it's waterproof, and you can just take it out and just squeeze that and paint away. Um, so they do all come with uh, lids. You've got several flat brushes, so that one, oh, I thought that was the big one, but it isn't. This one's the big one, so there's the big flat brush. I have previously owned one of the point brushes, but having the flat brushes as well when you're out and about is very handy um, for doing washes and landscapes. So there are three of these, that's the smaller flat brush. And then there are three points and one that is described as a rigger brush. Uh, so let's have a look here. Let's get them in order. I think. Uh, this is a kind of a mini one. I wonder if this is just for you to put in like your pocket or something. I don't know. Um, so maybe that maybe that is the maybe that's the one they're describing as a rigger. So you've got three here. So there's your three sizes for the uh, round pointed brush and I just thought it would be really good to have all of them and then find out which is most appropriate for my kind of artwork if that makes sense so um, I do use different brushes for different things and then like I said there's one one little tiny one that's only half the size of the others so that would probably be alright if you just wanted to stick it in your pocket when you were off out for a dog walk and like I said, for £2.24, usually um, in, in shops in my local area, you'd be paying three or four pounds just for one. So I thought that were a really good bargain. 
to we'll just slip those back into the little bag so they don't fall all over when I put them over to the side. Uh, next, we've got this, which I don't understand at all. Um, it's an inkless pencil. So I got green just because obviously it's, it's less easy to lose on your desk. Um, kind of looks like a fountain pen, um, but it's actually, there we go, it's actually a pencil or something similar. Um, and apparently it never runs out. Also, uh, I noticed on the advert, there should be a, a, an eraser on the inside. So yeah, there you go. You've got an eraser as well on the inside of what would be the ink well, were it an actual um, fountain pen. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of paper. Oh, yep. Ah. So yeah, you can shade on both sides according to the internet because I had to read up about it when I bought it um, This is some kind of uh, Metal alloy and as you move it against the paper it loses ever so slightly Small amount I would say that this is possibly Possibly a HB, but I think it's leaning slightly more towards the H range um, It's quite difficult to get a dark color um, But not entirely it is actually making a big dint in the page to make it do that But if you just want a pencil in your pocket to use as you will I'm sure that one would be perfect for you So there you go It's got a very strong uh, pocket grip on it and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that for 68 pence you can't complain now I did have it on a discount I did get an additional discount but I don't think it was any more than £1.50 anyway but for 68 pence I thought go on I mean give me one of them luminous yellow pencils uh, we are now at the point of paper um, everybody tells me that I should try out cotton paper. Now, I've never tried cotton paper. Now, it looks like I need scissors. Let me just see if I can find my scissors, guys. Hiding. Hiding from me. Right, so let's uh, use the scissors. Because I don't want to damage the paper, obviously, with my Stanley knife. So very well packaged has to be said uh, so this is the first one um, probably not going to try and say that um, I mean I could Bao Hong murdered it Bao Hong I have no idea either way this is 100% uh, watercolour cotton paper um, it's 300 GSM and 20 sheets uh, so it's good for watercolor pen drawing all sketch i don't know what all sketch is gouache it's scrub resistant modifiable natural white uh, natural texture environmental protection fit for all artists and it's made in china as most things from timu are um so let me just check the price on this one for you guys uh, so this one is uh, 10 inches by 7.1 inches um, and it cost £3.74. So that is not too bad at all really. Would you like to have a look inside just to see what the paper's like itself? Oh, this is terrifying. I mean... Are we in? We're in!
All right, so. Uh, oh, it's a block. It's actually an aquarelle block. It didn't say that, I don't think. Um, yeah, it's definitely a block. It's telling you how to get the paper off once you've completed. Now, it does look a little bit off colour. Yeah, that's a very interesting version of white because it looks blue to me. Does it say that it's white? Uh, yeah, natural white, apparently. Um, but based on the paper that I have just used, this looks blue for sure. Let me just see if I can uh, get that closer to you guys so that you can see the difference. It definitely has a blue tinge to me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, I don't know how that's going to affect uh, the finished paintings uh, this does seem to oh, I've just dropped some up this does seem to be smooth um, no texture on it and obviously I don't know how to tell by feel uh, whether or not it is cotton but it does say that it's cotton so that'll be interesting to try out at some point maybe we'll make a video about it let me know if you want to do that Like I said, that was just three pounds and seventy-four pence. And another water, watercolor paper again, I think. So let's open this up and check. Does it say on it? Oh yeah, this is definitely paper. It says coarse grain on it. Um, so here is a smaller version, which is seven inches by four point nine inches. Uh, this one is again 100% cotton, 300 GSM as you can see there. Uh, the descriptions for the last two, uh, the, the large one was called 100% cotton artist watercolour paper, 300G20 sheets. And this one is called 100% cotton professional watercolour paper, 20 sheets. And this one, believe it or not, cost more than the bigger one at four pounds and thirty-eight pence. So almost a full pound more expensive. So I'm not sure why that would be. Um, but let's get in and see if this is any different. Oh no, because it's bow hung again. It's not written on the front. Oh, it is. I'm blind. There. It's not written big on the front. Us poor Yorkshire people need it written really big if you want me to notice your brand. <laughs> Oops, squeaky. And again, this one is a block. So this one should be, oh my word. <laughs> I've just had a little peep underneath. So what does it say here? Use for watercolour pen drawing, all sketch, gouache, design effect, drawing, ink and painting. Scrub resistance, modifiable, natural white, natural texture environmental protection fit for all artists so i don't maybe this is like a front sheet i don't know but uh yeah it might actually be a front sheet we'll we'll see we'll see when we test it but uh, the side looks white uh, so hopefully it is right, but the front is yellow, um, but we will have a little look at that one at some point. Um, if I'm just being dumb, because I don't really use uh, watercolour blocks, maybe this is normal. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you guys out there know more about the uh, blocks than I do. Um, both of these do have white edging, so hopefully it's just like a cover sheet or something. Um, but we'll find out. I intend on doing a lovely test for you guys at some point. If you're interested in that, let me know. Now, I've just dropped one of the last items on the floor, as you do. Hopefully it's not damaged. So this was an interesting little thing that I found. Um, it's got a jellyfish on the front, so that's a, a quick way to uh, sell something to me. But this is um, 
did it depress did did depress did it depress yep um apparently beautiful glittery watercolor for all your painting needs not suitable for children under three but is anything um made in china again and i thought this would be a cute little kit if it's any good to take out for plein air you know when you're feeling a little bit sad and you just want to cheer your painting up with a little bit of glitter why not that's what i was thinking um so this comes in a little box um with a slide out case so let's have a little look how much this was there it is dead appraise dead 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 appraise i can't say it. i'm very sorry to the brand that makes these um dead dead appraise retro color watercolors and this is the ocean 12 color set oh now then oh those are pretty hmm see if I can get you some nice view on those they look fairly dark um, but you can't really tell until you've had a go with them can you so uh, we'll have to swatch those out in the future but they do look interesting nice natural looking colors I think um, obviously they are going to have the glittery effect so not very very natural but uh, yeah that'd be interesting can we get in oh yeah it's a click open box lid comes off and then what looks like normal half pans so they do look quite metallic um as i'm looking at them here i don't know if you can tell that through the camera but uh there is a bit of a sheen isn't there so we'll have to try those out. I mean, was I supposed to do that or was I supposed to? Maybe I was... Uh, you see, I was supposed to slide it off. You've really got to give me instructions. I'm from Yorkshire, you know, people. So that's quite pretty, isn't it? Um, and this was £6.98 for a 12 set of watercolours. Now, if we look at the colours that's on the back, uh, amazingly, the only thing that seems to be missing is a blue. And considering this is the ocean kit, you'd think it would have a blue, but we'll see how it goes. We'll have a try of that one at some point, guys. And then last but not least is the one that I am sort of the most excited about. Um, I've been kind of wanting a set of these for a while, but they are super expensive if you buy them in England. Uh, and these are travel watercolour brushes so they come in a nice little um, what I'm going to assume is fake leather uh, package uh, it's got velcro so I apologise for the noise and it is a five pack so it's five pieces artist paint portable brushes is what this one's called and hopefully these are different sizes yes they are uh, so it says on the brush that the brand is Meaden or something similar I'm not sure if you can see that so there you go so that's a Meaden it's got kind of a, a rune letter there at the beginning which cheered me up a little bit because I do I do like my Viking heritage. Um, so the sizes that we've got here are one, two, three, four, and five. I'm sure you're thoroughly surprised by that. Uh, so let's pull one out and have a see what they're like on the inside. Oh, that's nice, and it fits snugly, so that's good. So we've got. Let's take that little cover off for you all. So we've got a nice little um, wooden grip. So that is that is one of the places where you could hold it if you were doing detail work. You'd hold it back here if you were being a little bit more fluid for impressionistic. Um, but there's a nice little bit of wood there on the grip. Uh, quite a long finial. So that's uh, that's good. And like I say, it's a solid 
it's a solid fit it's not coming apart at all as I, I tug it there so it should be okay whilst you're actually painting on the go so this is the number one let's have a look at the different size ranges here and this is the number two so that's the number two just there guys and not only are these actually getting fatter um actually where where was the uh that one didn't have a cover on it did it not that it needs one because it's already covered but uh there is number three so I will show you all of these together, but you can also see them on the table here if I had them in shot. There we go. Uh, this one is number four. This one's a little bit less grippy on the on the barrel there. Um, but again, a little bit thicker than the last one and a little bit longer in that case. And the last one, that one's nice and grippy again, number five. Let me hold all those together for you so that you can see the difference. So there you go, that's a nice little range of brushes. I do tend to paint small, uh, usually on A6, which is around about six, no it's not. Maybe it's about four by three inches, uh, thereabouts. Um, so this is a nice little set of brushes. Um, for me to take out and about with me and the pupper for our plein air so may well give those a little go at some point on stream for you or uh, here on YouTube if you want to see that test let me know um, I am quite excited I'm not putting those back in the uh, little plastic doodads ah there you go it did have one um, because they are already protected by these uh, bodies. So we'll just leave them in there. Slide them back in the packet. Oh my, they're, they're, they're actually segregated on the inside there. I thought I could slide them across, but I can't. So that's quite good. Keeps them nice and snug. Let's slide those off and we will bring back these things for you to see. So we have the two cotton papers. Oh dear. We have the everlasting pencil that really wants to get in on the show straight away. We've got the little wood pulp book watercolor book watercolor reservoir paint uh, paintbrushes we've got the little packet of watercolors our travel watercolors a little bit of washi tape to stick it all down with and of course, the insane brush. I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing. I certainly have. Can't wait to have a go with these things. Um, it's been lovely chatting with you all. It's quite a long one, so I apologise, but it was quite a few items. I hope you enjoyed looking at all these things. If you're interested in any uh, being reviewed online please let me know if you've got any please give me tips uh, especially this enormous beast if you do have one of those feel free to let me know the best way to use it I'd very much appreciate that but for now I'm going to let you guys go have your tea have a cup of tea a cup of coffee your breakfast whatever it is that you're doing while you're watching my video you're very much appreciated thank you for hanging out I hope you have a lovely day. Find something that makes you smile. And you know the rules, guys. Be happy.